all right uh, welcome back ladies and gentlemen so in this episode i'll be trying to fix some uh all minor stuff i did order the uh, black grills i think it's gonna look sick uh, i figured i'll just i'm gonna paint them the uh the vents hood vents because they're in really good condition i looked it up black ones I found some but they're like super expensive and they're good condition so I'll just mesh it with the grills when the grills uh, come in they're flat black well anyways other day I was just walking around and like checking the car I've noticed so my fog lights <laughs> they're not fastened they just sit there or I don't know what's going on see so gonna pop this covers with like a prying tool and see what's going on in there and uh, like I said I have a floppy door mirrors uh, on some research I have done apparently <sighs> let me focus or slow I don't know why the lighting is bad but let me figure out the lighting if I can well anyways they have a cover here so you pop that cover and apparently either it has three or four torx bolts so you gotta tight tighten that and it should work I mean that's what I heard but not entirely sure Obviously, I'm gonna do that if it doesn't work. I'll just pop them and see what's going on. But first, I'm gonna just see what's going on with the fog lights and then we'll see. So, let's watch. So, for this job, you probably need like a prying tool, plastic one, whichever works because. We don't want to damage the paint right and also it's a factory paint so i'm gonna pop that color off and see what's going on in there yeah pretty simple i'm gonna probably use this first simple as that i've used this Apparently we are missing the bolts. Let me see if I can show you guys As you can tell there's one bolt here and there is one It's completely missing. So I'm gonna put the bolts back and pop the cover Probably wipe around So simple fix most likely the other side is same thing missing bolts yep so I found this kind of Phillips screws they're a little thick so it works perfectly fine I just put one so I'm gonna put it on the other side they're just long enough so it sits tight so I'm gonna put this real quick oh yeah it's rock hot rock hard solid so yeah just put them on so it doesn't wobble whatsoever so i'll wipe this and put the cover back on then do the other side found one i gotta find one more for the other side and then we good to go easy peasy simple as that so it doesn't wobble perfect so now we're going to do the other side so pretty much same process pop the collar off and see if it has bolts or not 
so pretty much same thing it does uh, it's missing the bolts I no clue why someone haven't put the bolts in so let me go find one more oh, screw or bolt whatever you call it whatever works one more I need one more and fasten this one clean it around it put it back on and then this one is done too this one is good too see yep so once I get the black grills that's when I'm gonna take the front license plate off because I want to see with it I don't want to see without it yep all right guys so I did pop the cover it's pretty easy so it sits like this so it has a, a longer tap and smaller so you get a like a flathead screwdriver tiny one just uh, pry it up it pops up and then it has t15 torque bolts there i'm gonna try to they're kind of hard to see it's down there try to torque them see if that's the problem if that's not it it's most likely you gotta uh, take the mirrors apart see what's going on there but i'm gonna give it a try Alright guys, uh, sorry my camera died. So yeah, that wasn't the torque bolts. Still floppy. It's too much. I mean, I've torqued this side. This side seems fine. It's alright. But that one is, that's the bad side. Uh, I mean, even the, the mirrors and stuff. Because it has the self-dimming mirrors, but they're yellow and bad even when I hit the folding button see you can hear the motor working but it doesn't do anything so I'm gonna take them apart and see what's going on there and hopefully fix them yeah cuz even just this mirrors alone the self dimming ones they cost fortune they're like over 300 bucks so i'm not paying for them 300 bucks i'll get them fixed yep uh, slowly it's coming together this x yeah look at it oh it's nice all right yeah let's just dive into the mirrors i mean I don't know if I'm gonna work on them today, but yeah, we'll see. Regardless, we'll cut to. All right, guys. Uh, so it's the next day. I'm um, start working on this. So I'll probably take off the uh, door card as well because we got a couple torques there to access. I just want to take the side mirror completely off and see what's going on because it's also super cold uh, today outside see someone taking this off before it's not even properly seated so I know they're all clips but I believe you gotta take this trim out like pry out you got like I think screws I know you got a screw in here you gotta undo that too and I wanna safe I don't think so it has anything here but I'll see yeah we'll figure out okay let me pop this off and see then we will work our way up to the meter I'm gonna put a tripod in so you can guys see what's going on here all right guys uh, so you need a couple tools well okay, you got some torque tools with the ratchet and then like a plastic pry tool so you don't want to damage the door panel also you got a uh, a bolt right here 
I mean, it's a Torx. Let me see which one is it. Cause I'll tell you, it should be all same. Oh, no big. All right, so it's a T20. T20, so we're gonna undo that. We're gonna pop this cover right here. Well, uh, it's gonna have a torx as well. We'll undo that, pop this trim and see if there is anything. And then we'll pop the door cart. So you do have to pop that trim. Once you pop that trim, you have another T20 Torx screw and also some random uh, Phillips screw just fell off once I took the trim off I don't know it's strange I will I'll figure out let me take this door card so guys there is a Phillips screw here so you want to undo that too and then this whole door card should come off so you got one Torx here you got Torx here we have one down there and rest is on clips so I'm gonna go get a Phillips screwdriver undo this and pop this door panel off and see what's going on I mean definitely someone been here already because it was all loose look at it it's all felt I mean I haven't cleaned the inside yet so I just want to finish all the exterior stuff and then I'm gonna dive into the interior because I did uh, acquire some door seals as well as you can tell they're all ripped literally all four so I got some good used ones so I'm gonna replace that I'm gonna take the seats out probably clean the carpet clean the interior everything so it's nice and neat but overall it's really clean car yep let me go get a screwdriver That's so strange. It's this whole door card is completely loose, but this area is holding. I don't want to like yank it too hard and break it. I mean, let me just see what's going on. But otherwise, it's all loose. It's just this piece right here. Let me try one more time. So yeah, you just had to guys yank it because they sit on the spots. Man, it was literally missing all the bottom clips. It just doesn't exist. I know someone did really bad job. And then, well, it's missing a couple things. It's missing a black plastic tab. I did. I do have extra ones. I'll just show you. So that's for the handle. I'll show you right now everything. It's been put together really poorly this door panel. So but we're gonna fix this. I mean look at it, so it was missing that black plastic for the door handle. Then this thing was completely was out, disconnected. I don't know if it's broken or what. It's for the handle. I mean look at this. Someone changed the speakers freaking zip tied it and I mean who does this come on well anyways we'll f figure out here what's going on I might just have to pop all the door panels and see what's going on underneath someone it's been here definitely but right now we'll pop this cover I mean look at it Someone's been here, so we'll take this uh, door. I mean, the door mirror first. We'll try to fix that, then we'll figure out what's going on here. All right. So, now what we want to do 
We're gonna pop that and we're gonna see some dark box. So you wanna just pop this, it sits here, uh, it sits in a clip here, so you pop it off, then you got T27 I believe they are, so you got one here, one in here, you, so you undo them, and disconnect uh, this window switch, I mean connectors, right here, I'm sorry, and then this mirror should come off. Okay. So guys, like I said, it's this two bolts, T27, and you got right here this kind of black cover. So you pop that off and undo this as well. And the mirror should come off. Yep. So technically it should just slide off. Put this. Just like that guys, it's off. Now we're gonna dismantle this whole thing and see what's going on inside. Okay guys, now what you wanna do, get a, like a flathead small screwdriver, pop this cover right here. So we're gonna pop this off, just pry it. Has three uh, torque bolts, we're gonna undo them and take this apart. We're gonna take the mirror as well, the cover and see what's going on inside. Just like that. Uh, they're ten, uh, T15 torques, so uh, we're gonna have one here, one right here, and then actually four, two more here. So it's apart. I mean, obviously the wire's holding. Interesting. Someone tried to drill an extra hole and do some stuff, which I don't know why. Then, guys, the problem is here. This whole unit is twisting. Here, I cannot see anything wrong in here. It mounts here. It should stay. So. Someone see tried to do drill a hole through this to here so they thought it won't wiggle but that's not the problem just the whole unit is the problem this motor so let me just take it out and see what's going on in there Seems fine, this whole motor unit, everything. It's just this bit right here. Which is strange. But everything else it seems fine, all the teeth and and let me just take this cover off. Let's see what's going on in there. Oh. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, That's a switch for the folding mirrors. That's when he knows where he gotta stop once he hits this. Oh, this seems fine here. So it just needs good cleaning. So the problem is here. This whole unit twists for some reason. So it works like this. But I don't see anything wrong with this. That's the problem. So all the gears, everything seems fine. Stops. Yeah. Super strange. So I'll probably put it back together and see. Hopefully it works. I don't see anything wrong with. So it seems really solid, so it was wiggling before, so I just took it apart and putting it back together. And uh, I'm gonna see if it's gonna work. Because I don't see anything wrong, to be honest. All the tabs, everything in place. It's super solid, it doesn't wobble. So that was strange. All I did is take it apart and put it back. Maybe someone took it apart before and placed it wrongly, but it's solid because someone been here because they did some glue and stuff. So I'm gonna clean all this and put this together. Oh, before I do that, I'm dropping every single tool. I wanna take this mirror off. I think you can take it apart and clean it because it has some kind of liquid inside it's self dimming uh, mirror so I want to because it's yellow it's nasty so I want to make it like all clear so I don't care about the option of self dimming I mean if I find good set later on yeah I'll swap them if I don't this works fine too yeah so I'm gonna figure out how to take this apart now and replace it I mean not replace it but fix it all right, let's keep watching. All right guys, so I just, it was uh, pretty much reverse process. I assembled everything back. So it has a little wobble, but not bad at all. Like how it used to be, like it was like bad. Like it would like wobble bad has like a really minimal and I just plugged it in I've tested it as I can hear the motor is running but it doesn't fold or unfold for some reason I just took everything apart and it seems fine all the tabs in right places so I don't know what's going on with this so since the wobble is gone it's like a really minimal so I don't want to like spend time trying to fix this because I do want all the functions to work for the folding part as well so I just wanna probably gonna go get new ones or find uh, a good used ones that works with the correct mirror so everything how it's supposed to be like a factory cuz I just yeah I mean there's literally nothing wrong with it inside. I've checked if for some reason it's still it doesn't fold unfold. But the wobble is a little gone, so that's kind of hap uh, you know that's kinda good because whenever I would drive just a little wind it would start folding the mirror. So uh, yeah, so 
I'm gonna put this back on for now and trying to figure out with the speaker stuff there. I don't know, someone did a really bad job, so I'm gonna try to figure that uh, side and see what's going on there and put it how it's supposed to everything. And then I'll just keep searching for new mirrors, I guess. So guys, uh, before you install it, I mean, it's up to you if you guys, I just wiped it, cleaned it really good so I know it doesn't have any debris, dirt inside. So I'm gonna just go grab the mirror right now, install it for now until I find good set or new ones. So I can swap them out completely so I know I got a working one. I just don't want to spend time with that. Alright, so here we go. All right, guys, you want to first fit through this connector to that hole in there and then uh, we'll put the foam back, the rubber, make sure it's seated, then uh, sit, uh, place the mirror in place and fasten them from behind. So simple, nothing too complicated. Uh, simple as that, I'm gonna go get the screws on the other side. So currently it's secure in one bolt, but as you can tell, well, it has like a minimal, I mean it's still bad, but it's better than what it used to be, so. But yeah, like I said, I'm gonna just swap them out. So now, we want to do is we want to work from here so this twitter right here so it has this plastic holes so this one slides up on the top portion of the uh, screw for the side mirror and this one uh, fastens with the bottom uh, torx bolt so make sure you do that so don't forget that so uh, pretty much so right now I'm gonna uh, fasten the top one and now I'm gonna slide that uh, to the end So fasten, it's solid, so I will zip tie them and stuff and do it properly, I'm gonna take the speaker out uh, right here and see what's going on with that because that's not going to stay like that, that's 100%. Let me take that out and see what's going on. So guys, uh, these wires, they weren't even like uh, soldered in or anything. It was just in there barely touching it. Had poor connection. <laughs> it's ridiculous. And also, the speakers, they're small in here like see it barely clears the hole but for the mounting purposes I mean how are you gonna mount them because the mounting points for the speakers it's there and uh, I don't know man what the hell they did here so I'm a figure some stuff out right now <coughs> so all right guys uh, thanks to my friend he hooked me up they're all in perfect condition so they literally that's what you need this trace their OEM original it sits there so it has all the mounting points the only issue I'm having right now 
I need the connectors too. Someone chopped the connectors. They literally did such a terrible job. Never seen anything like that. So I'm gonna mount them and uh, try to find the connectors as well. Unfortunately, my friend, he didn't have it. He sold all his four doors. So he took the speakers off. So luckily, so he gave me the speakers and then I'm gonna mount them and then find the connectors or do something so it works so it's all OEM because I'm a, a firm believer of OEM stuff not a big fan of aftermarket stuff so I go full OEM so I'll, it will be good oh it's coming alone slow by st it's coming alone step by step pretty much well yeah I'm gonna try to mount the speaker front one and then figure out the connector thing and we'll see. I'll see how it's gonna turn out. <laughs> Alright guys, uh, as you can see it's dark so I got a light going on here but pretty much uh, I've did uh, uh, mount the speaker so it mounts like three spots here original and really good condition so I do have to find the connectors and uh, do the proper way with the heat heat shrink and uh, uh, attach the connector here so the connector goes in here uh, so it's all proper then I'll get a proper duct tape so duct tape this here then I'll zip tie it through and recheck everything clean put it back so so that way i know for sure it's all in good condition so it doesn't have any stupid like stuff going on like it was earlier today all right guys uh so i went to the local junkyard uh luckily they had only one e53x5 and all the door panels they were off so I was super luck so I didn't have to do anything so I literally went I cut all four speaker connectors and they fit perfectly fine so I'm gonna well right here I'll show you so it goes in here like this oh, my bad okay it's perfectly works fine so now I'm gonna just use the soldering gun. I'm gonna solder them and uh, sh heat shrink them. Then wrap it, I do all properly. And uh, so once I finish the driver's side, then I'll go ahead and uh, do the rest. I'm just gonna open them all and check because I don't want any like weird stuff going on. No aftermarket stuff for me. I mean, man, I wish they had the the door mirrors apparently they didn't had it on so if it had on I would have bought it but it didn't so for now I guess I'll just have this door mirrors until I find good ones but yeah it's coming along super nice so yeah let's go I'm gonna probably show you how to do the driver's side and then rest it's pretty much same process repeat uh, and yeah all right, here we go. Again, guys, thanks for watching. All right, guys, so that's the connector. Make sure you prep them and put the uh, heat shrinks first. And you won't mix the wires because they're color match. So white with blue goes with white blue and blue with brown goes with same wire, yeah. So you can mix match them. So pretty much, so I'm gonna attach them, solder it, heat shrink it, then I have the OEM tape, so it's not like electric tape, but it's like, you know, the factory fabric tape they use, so exactly the same one. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna wrap it with this, so like nothing happened, and plug it in, and hopefully everything works, good to go. All right, here we go. Yep. 
Uh, sorry guys, apparently my battery died. I didn't realize I was working on it. So, yeah, this is it. So, factory looking. Everything is in place, all done how it's supposed to be. So I'm gonna just plug this in right now, or it's supposed to. So it goes in here. Boom, click. Then I'm gonna zip tie some wires around here, like this, so I know they're in place. And then obviously before I put the door card, I'm gonna test if the speaker works. And then I'll just, it's pretty much uh, same process, man, just uh, reverse it, the door card, put it and put all the torques and clips and snap in place and you're good to go. So yeah, I'm gonna real quick test this, see if the sound works. If it works, great. If it doesn't, we'll make it work. <laughs> but I'm sure it's gonna work. Uh, yeah, let me check this real quick. So yeah, I've just checked the sound. Uh, it works perfectly fine. Uh, so I'm gonna just zip tie some wires so make it nice and clean and put the door card back on and we good to go. Yep. So yeah, simple as that. Now I just plug and play and we're good to go. All right. All right guys, so I got the door card. So I've put all new door clips. And also I was talking about this black uh, piece that goes right in here. It was, it was missing, so I, I had some, so I put that on to make sure. So now all you want to do is just connect all the wires where it's supposed to go and just snap it in place and just reverse the process. Simple as that. Yeah. So, now I'm just gonna put the bolts in this spot, then put the trim back on, and we're good. And obviously then test all the functions if it works. Okay, let me just go get the bolts. One door is done. Now three more to go. Yep. I did also found the uh, the radio trim. I'll show you. I was at the junkyard getting those uh, things, uh, the uh, connectors, and it had a a trim as well. So they gave me for free, by the way. So yeah. Oh yes. So I've popped the driver's side cover off. I mean here is perfectly fine. It has the OEM speaker, OEM connector, everything intact. So that's weird. They've just did the one door like that. But regardless, I'm gonna just check all all oh, I'm sorry. I'm just gonna check every single one and to make sure everything is in place and then yeah move on to next thing hmm, someone been here so to put a, like a silicon in here which is strange but yeah that's fine as i mean that's good less work for me it's con good condition speaker connector in place so i don't know it's weird they've changed that one so but i'm regardless like i said i'm gonna check out so yeah, I'm gonna put this back on and then move on to the rear and see what's going on there. All right guys, uh, it 
that's another day uh, I've did uh, put the door panel back on this side like you guys saw everything is fine I did uh, check the backs as well off camera they're perfectly fine it was just that uh, just one driver side speaker for some reason I didn't film the rear because the video is getting too long so just wanna end the video here and I'll see you on the next episode well like always guys thank you for the watch and support and yeah subscribe like if you can <laughs> if not it's all good well thank you guys i'll see you in the next episode